Indeed, in my government, if you are a minister or a DCE or an official and you undertake mining activity, I'll ask you to resign and go and do the mining. You either choose to be a public official or choose to be a business person running a, a mine. At the same time, we cannot overlook the years of Galamse activities that have left our country with legacy scars. We propose some initiatives to restore degraded lands, rehabilitate impacted forests, and clean our polluted water bodies. These initiatives will restore the environment and create thousands of jobs in the affected mining communities. We will establish a reclamation fund which, into which all legal mining operators will contribute. So there will be a fund, a reclamation fund. If you own a mining concession, you will pay some money monthly into the reclamation fund. When you finish mining, if you use your own equipment, you level the ground, you reclaim the land nicely, we'll give you back your money. You take your money away. But if you don't reclaim the land, we will use that money to employ people in the community to reclaim the land, level it, and make it uh, available for uh, agriculture. So this fund will be utilized to rec reclaim all degraded lands after mining has been exhausted. This will provide jobs in water cleaning, land leveling, tree growing for many of the youth currently involved in illegal mining. So a lot of the young people who are currently involved in illegal mining, we will transition them into rather reclaiming land and growing trees on the degraded lands. The proposed small-scale mining cooperatives we are talking about will differ in all forms from the existing community mining scheme, which, is undeniable, which has undeniably become a conduit for enriching party chairmen, DCEs, and other politically connected individuals.